Hello, so in this particular video we will be adding a secondary disk uh, to our machine so let's see how we can do it okay so for that you need to go to edit and we need to select add and click yes we will be selecting hard drive click next and as per recommendation we will be using SCSI and click next create new virtual disk click next and we will give a size called 500 uh, sorry 500 GB and we will select it as singles file and as well as dynamic and click next and finish okay now you can see new hard drive is added we will click OK so once we boot this uh, this hard drive will be added to this particular machine but we need to prepare it so that the OS can use it okay so for that we will power this uh, power this machine on so once the machine is on then we can show you up how the things looks okay machine is powered on let me log into this particular machine with my secret password okay so for that what I need to do is I need to go to uh, run and type CMD okay so I will launch command prompt and make sure the command prompt is launched with administrative privilege and in our case yes it is launched with administrative privilege and let me go to cd slash okay. and do a clear screen cls okay and now we need to run uh, run a command called disk part okay d a i s k p a r t then enter so this part is a CLI based command line tool which is a windows internal command so from where we can manage the disk okay so for that we can uh, run a command called list disk this will show up that if there is any secondary disk is there on that particular server or not so at this moment yes we can see uh, there is a secondary disk so I will select that so you will select disk 1 okay now you can see the disk one is selected to check that I will do a list disk again and you can see there is a star mark in in just front of disk one okay that means disk has been selected so what you can do is you can type online disk okay hit enter so you can see it gives a message that the disk is being online successfully to check that I will do a list disk okay and one more thing which we can check is the status of the particular disk so this attribute disk will give you a status that uh, this particular disk is in which state is it in read only or it is in um, read write mode so at this moment it says it is in read only mode okay so let's see what happens okay I will do uh, exit okay and do a click to the screen okay so now the the thing is we need to launch a GUI shell which is called disk management to manage the disk okay okay so at this moment you can see if we uh, just cancel this I just want to show you and talk about it a little bit more okay so at this moment you can see this disk shows as uh, down arrow right what that does mean is it also says like it is not initialized okay so we need to initialize the disk before we start and make it uh, uh, work for this particular OS. okay so if we say we want to initialize what exactly we are doing so in the phase of initializing okay let me do a rescan okay So in the phase of initializing, we we are trying to uh, write the partition table like it, uh, the partition table like MBR or GPT. So by default, we go for MBR and we also can go for GPT. But when we are going uh, beyond two dB, two dB of volume size, then we can go for GPT. Otherwise, MBR is good for us. Okay. So I can select MBR and click OK. 
but you can say uh, it is giving me an error that like media is right protected okay so that means uh, that this disk is in a uh, lock state okay um, the, let me let me just quickly check okay if we do a list disk you can see this is the disk we need to check which is select disk 1 okay so I will do a okay so in this case it says like uh, this particular disk is in read only mode okay so we need to uh, clear the read only mode okay so okay so to clear the read only what we need to do is we need to um, select the same command like attribute disk and then we need to give uh, uh, like we want to remove the read only flag so we will use like clear read only okay and hit enter so this message gives you that the read only flag has been removed and we can quickly uh, check the disk status and it says uh, that this particular disk is not read only at this moment and we can do a exit okay and now we can open the disk management again to open it we can write a command start disk mgmt dot msc okay and now this time we will be writing the partition table and initializing the disk with mbr and click ok and now we can see the disk is being initialized and it is online and it says as basic okay so we can right click and create new simple volume with this so we can click next and I'm choosing this particular with the full size I will click next and let it be with e drive and I will click next and I will give a name like share drive okay and click next and finish so this is how we we can really uh, add a new volume and if you face any issue like the disk is being in a read a read only mode so you can see now how to clear the read only flag from that particular disk okay so hope this particular video is informative and i will see you in the next video